Hello. This video is step one in COCA and Meeting Manager by Telvin. So we'll go ahead and open up Meeting Manager. And as with all COCON applications, COCON Room Server needs to be running for this to work. If it is, you'll see your room show up here. If you have multiple engines connected to your computer, say multiple rooms that are all in one big network that one computer is talking to, you'll see them here. But for most, you'll just have one room. And we'll click OK. And that will bring up this window. Very first time, all you're going to have is blank meeting under standard templates. Once you've created some different meeting templates, you'll see them show up down here. For our case, I'm going to go ahead and open up one of my templates. So whether you pick a blank meeting or one of your templates, you will always land here. Your best practices will likely be based around starting out with templates. You'll create some templates that have a similar core to what that meeting is going to be all about, and then making them unique to a particular session. So let's say, you know, this was my kickoff to 2021 meeting. Well, now I know that this is going to be the spring planning meeting. So I'm going to type that in there. And we can put additional descriptions below. You can pick your date and time for the meeting. I'll go ahead and leave this as is. This right here, Enable Meeting Timer, it's not used that often, but it is kind of front and center. When you enable it, it puts a time limit on the meeting. And that'll give you, right here, we have a warning timer that'll come up on the screens when you're getting within that limit. And if you don't click Timer Can Exceed, the meeting will just end itself right at 6 o'clock on the dot. Not that practical in the real world, um, but if you have a hard stop, um, that'll be a really hard stop. The meeting will just end right at 6. But for a lot of cases, we won't use that. Other things that we can do, we can define how the meeting is going to be logged in. Whether you're going to predefine the names by dragging them over to the seats, whether you're going to just have RFID cards uh, and people can sit where they want, or if it's going to be a combination where you predefine who's going to sit where and they need to log in with a card. Um, so there's a variety of ways that you can log into the system. You can set a couple of the mic activation settings as well. Direct speak is kind of your most common push to talk mode. Um, you can see the manual or some of the other videos for a more in-depth explanation of what all these modes do. You can also pick your maximum number of speakers. Um, again, we have some more in-depth videos that go through uh, what all these mean. And this last box here is important if you have e-ink nameplates as part of your system and you want them to work for a particular meeting, you have to make sure that this box is checked. So when we put all of our information in, you'll notice there's two ways of saving. Save as template or just save. First couple things you'll want to do is probably make a few templates and you can save them by clicking Save as Template. Or in a lot of cases, you're going to be, once you have those first few templates, you're just going to be kind of starting there and editing them. And then you'll just click Save. And that meeting will become available in the operator application. Or it'll be available in Meeting Manager under Existing Meetings. You'll see here's the spring planning that we just added. And you can go back in and edit it um, anytime until basically the meeting actually happens and is formally ended with the operator application. We have other specific videos uh, dealing with the delegate list, agendas, speech timers, document services, and synoptics. So check those out if any of those may be relevant to you. Thanks for watching.